Hey guys, what's going on? The Bearded Baron here, bringing you guys another Dead by Daylight video. So the new DLC for Resident Evil has just dropped, and I thought that I would make another top five survivor build videos that you can bring in to future matches. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first build that I have here is Don't Touch My Generator build. So this one is going to be bringing in Red Herring, Blast Mine, Repressed Alliance, and Flashbang. So Red Herring here, after we work on a generator for at least three seconds, it'll be highlighted in yellow. Anytime that you step inside of a locker, as long as nobody else is working on it or it's completed, uh, it will give a loud noise indicator to the killer and highlight the generator's location. Now, this is going to be luring the killer into our generator, trying to get them to hit it. Now, after we've worked on a generator for a total of 66% of its progression, we'll be given with Blast Mine. Now, for at least three seconds of working on the same generator or working on a different generator, we can set a trap. For 45 seconds, if the killer comes over and they touch it by kicking it, uh, it will then blind them uh, for a short duration and anybody else that's nearby, and then Blast Mine deactivates. Reprised Alliance here also does the same kind of thing. Now, after working on a generator for a total of 60 seconds, you would then get the opportunity of being able to block the generator with the entity for 30 seconds. Thus, again, shutting down the killer's ability to be able to touch that generator and be able to work on it. This actually can work out really well with Blast Mine as well because the entity can block it for 30 seconds. Then the killer comes back with their remaining 15 seconds thinking that they have to be able to kick it now. Uh, and when doing so, now they're blinded instead. Lastly, we also have Flashbang here. Now, this one is a Leon perk. This is another new perk. Blast Mine is a Jill perk, but Flashbang here, after completing 50% of any generator, we can get a charge for a Flashbang. Basically, all you do is step inside of a locker, hit the active, uh, the active button, uh, and you will be given a Flashbang as long as you don't have anything in your inventory, which is why I don't have anything listed here. But this particular build uh, is pretty annoying against killers, and I highly, highly recommend it. All right, so build number two is going to be called Medic, and for good reason. So this one is going to allow us to be able to heal not only our injured self, but also an injured survivor extremely quickly. Now with Resurgence, anytime that we get pulled off of a hook or we unhook ourselves, we're going to gain that 50% instant progress to our healing. Now we're going to pair that up with Solidarity. So if the survivor that we're helping to heal up at that same time uh, if we are able to heal them and heal ourselves with that 50% conversion rate without using a med kit, this is going to work really well with botany knowledge because our healing speed and healing item efficiency is going to be increased by 33%. So we're going to be able to heal even faster. And with bite the bullet, when healing, you and the survivor you're healing make no noise, including grunts of pain. Also, there is no noise notification on failed healing skill checks and healing regression is only by 1%. So this is definitely for something if you're running over if you're trying to find your teammate uh and you both of you are injured this is an awesome way to be able to heal up both of you at the exact same time now there are a lot of things that you could change out with this you could run instead of body knowledge you could run with will make it for example if i can find it now uh not there here we go will make it so anytime that you rescue a survivor from the hook we gain a hundred percent uh, increased speed while healing others for 90 seconds after this so this one could work really well if you are going in for the saves especially if you are injured um, or you could just replace out will make it with any other kind of exhaustion perk that you would like to use as well i do recommend that a lot of these builds do have some kind of an exhaustion perk because a lot of time those exhaustion perks helps you do an extended chase when you are within with a killer or to help provide uh you know other support for your teammates such as head on with other stun durations or decisive strike but it's up to you whatever you that you'd like to use or you could even go uh if you wanted to and you could go with borrowed time here um to allow you to give your uh your unhook e uh the sur rescued survivor an additional hit instead of going down all right coming in for number three is going to be the gen jockey build now this one is going to have rookie spirit poised prove thyself and built to last now rookie spirit here anytime that we complete three good or great skill checks while repairing and generators we activate rookie spirit for the remainder of the trial once active you can see the auras of any regressing generators but this is going to be extremely helpful for us knowing when the killer is running around knowing where the killer is at because you'll see it when as soon as it gets regressed if the killer brings in oppression uh, or anything else that would maybe trigger a generator starting to regress even with ruin 
uh, you would start to see where they, they would be able to regress. You're going to be able to run over to those as quickly as possible uh, and continue to work on them. Now, poised here, anytime that you complete a generator, you're going to leave no scratch marks for 10 seconds. This is really good if you need to get a if you need to get away very quickly, uh, especially after just finishing off a generator. A lot of times the killer will be looking around in that area because they know somebody was just there. But now and not having any kind of scratch marks for 10 seconds is going to give you that awesome head start to be able to get away. Now, prove thyself here is kind of just a an absolute uh, staple in the gen rushing community. And that is for every four survivors or for every survivor that you have within a four meter range of you working on the same generator, you gain a 15% repair speed bonus. Uh, it's also applied to everybody there. You gain 100% more blood points for co-op actions as well. So not only do you get more blood points, but you also work on generators faster when you're working with teammates. Now, this last one here, like most of these builds, uh, is kind of an optional kind of thing. Built to last... Uh, once per trial, the depleted item that we have will re will refill 50% of its charges after 10 seconds. So if we bring in a commodious toolbox, which moderately increases the repair speed with a wire spool and socket swivels, now we're going to be able to push through probably our last two gens, one gen with the commodious toolbox, be able to finish up that round to get out of the match as, as fast as we possibly can. Now, instead of build to last, you could also go with bond. Uh, bond is another great perk and it works out really well so that way you can see the auras of any survivors that are around you within 36 meter range so that way you can run over with them to get that prove thyself buff but like i said it's very interchangeable these are definitely great with survive with friends groups and i highly recommend them as well next up for number four we have the totem killer build now this one is particularly great if you find yourself running into managers where the lot of killers are bringing in those hex totems and you can't find them this build right here will absolutely shred through them and i'll explain why so the first thing we're going to be bringing is the rainbow map with a retardant jelly and an odd stamp now this is going to increase the range of our reading ability on the map and because it is a rainbow map we unlock being able to see the hatch the exit gates uh, totems generators hooks everything and then the retardant jelly also slows down to the burning rate of the map now small game now this is extra okay so you don't necessarily need to bring this into the match uh because this build right here will still be able to find the totems fairly quickly anyways so small game anytime that we get a uh within a 45 degree section of a range of 12 meters small game has a cooldown of 10 seconds so essentially you're going to get an audible warning anytime that a totem is within a 45 degree cone in front of you with a maximum distance of 12 meters now we're also bringing in open handed which increases our order reading ranges by 16 meters so now that 45 degree cone turns from 12 meters into 28 meters becomes much much larger now detectives hunch here also uh, whenever we complete a generator, the auras of generators, chests, and totems within 64 meters, also now increased by that additional 16, so now 80 meters out, is revealed to you for 10 seconds. This is going to be great for as far as finding totems super fast, and then you can narrow them down here with small game as well. Now, every time that you do cleanse a totem, the detection cone is reduced by 5 degrees, which is where the map kind of comes into play if you're having a hard time being able to find it. Honestly, if you just keep continuously swaying back and forth as you're running with small game, it'll keep triggering, it'll keep procking, and eventually you'll be able to find it. The last one here is going to be Counterforce. Now, this one is a new Jill perk, and you cleanse totems 20% 20 20 faster. Now, after you cleanse a totem, you will see the auras of the furthest totem from you for four seconds and gain an additional 20% stackable speed bonus to cleansing totems for the remainder of the trial. So all together, this is very, very great for being able to find those totems extremely fast, being able to break them extremely fast, and then move on, find the next one. Now, last but not least on this build is the Flash Bang build. Now, I'll explain what I mean here. Now, the item that you can bring in is honestly is whatever that you would like to. I recommend maybe just a first aid kit to be able to heal you during the match, but you could bring in a flashlight, a toolbox, uh, anything that you wanted to. But essentially for this build, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to double tap the killer as we're running into it. So we're going to be running with Flash Bang, Deception, Head On, and Quick and Quiet. So now the first time around that we go around the loop, 
you know, go around a loop, you can use deception, which will mind game the killer into thinking that you're not in there. Secondly, followed it up with quick and quiet because now when we vault or hide action noises, our noise detection and audio range is reduced by 100%. So therefore we can lock, we can vault into a locker extremely quiet the killer won't hear us at all now we have head on after standing in the locker for three seconds head on activates when we pop out of that locker uh we will stun the killer for three seconds at this point what you're going to want to do is, is if you have that flashbang with you which you cannot have if you have this item so maybe we don't have that item but with the flashbang now that you've head on stunned them now you can immediately pop out of the locker drop the flashbang at their feet they're stunned for three seconds and now they're blind and you can keep on moving forward this is a very fun build for as far as being able to loop killers run around killers kind of annoy killers uh and it can be super super fun but i only recommend this build if you're very comfortable with being able to loop killers um, but i have been having quite a bit of fun with flashbang uh, and doing this to killers during matches so hopefully you guys will enjoy this as well. All right, guys, that's going to be my video. Let me know down in the comment section below which build that you like the most and maybe if a different build that you think that would be really good using either new Leon's perks or new Jill's perks. But guys, I hope everybody has an amazing evening and I'll see you all in the fog.